Hi, I'm Katie Nankerville and welcome to Long Island Style. Today, I wanted to talk to you about heating water in your brand new home. So I'm here with Paul Rice from Chromogen Solar and Energy Solutions and he's going to tell us about solar hot water. Hi Paul. Hi Katie. Conserving energy and reducing power bills is important to everybody these days. Most people don't realise that water heating accounts for around 25% of the greenhouse gas emissions and energy consumption in one's home. So water heating is actually a high energy user and it's a great area for people to make significant savings around the home. Chromogen solar water heaters are highly efficient water heaters. They use the sun's free energy to preheat the water so you can save and it's a standard inclusion in Long Island homes. Fantastic. Can you tell me the difference between solar power and then solar hot water? Sure, it's a very good question because a lot of people do get solar power and solar hot water confused, but it's actually quite simple. Uh, most people are familiar with solar power systems because there's six or more panels fitted to the roof, and those panels are designed to convert sunlight into electricity. Solar hot water systems, however, have one to three panels, and they're larger panels mounted on the roof, and they're designed to take the sun's thermal energy and transfer the heat into the water. Can you tell me about how solar hot water actually works? Sure, Katie. They're actually very simple. Solar water heaters generally comprise of roof-mounted solar thermal collectors, a ground-mounted or roof-mounted storage tank, and a supplementary water heating source being either a gas water heater or an electric element. They work simply by the roof-mounted collectors gather the, and absorb the sun's thermal heat energy and it transfers it into the water that's running through the collectors. That water then is transferred into the tank where it is stored and it's insulated until at such a time that you need to use that water when you turn on the tap. Now however, if, there's, if you go to turn on the tap and there has been a number of days with overcast um, skies and cold weather and the temperature in that tank has perhaps dropped, the supplementary gas booster or electric element kicks in to make sure you get perfect temperature of water at the tap. And how can this add value to a home? Sure Katie, with solar hot water the benefits are numerous. With solar hot water you can literally soak in the sunshine and save. And that's because with solar water heating it provides up to 90% of your water heating needs and therefore you only need a little bit of electricity and gas that you need to pay for. And because it's using clean, free energy from the sun, you're really reducing your energy consumption around the home and therefore your energy bills. And therefore you can also minimise the impact of rising energy prices. So with solar water heaters, because they're reducing your energy consumption, they're reducing your carbon footprint. So they're great for the environment and great for our future. And with the fact that solar water heaters use a supplementary uh, energy source, a heating source, you always get reliable hot water in any weather or time of day. So they're fantastic, energy efficient, reliable, and like I said before, you can literally soak in the sunshine. Fantastic. Thank you so much for helping us out today, Paul. And that's why at Long Island Homes, we always partner with Chromagen to ensure you're getting the most environmentally conscious products in your brand new Long Island home. And that's why we also include solar hot water as a standard inclusion in our homes. Uh, until next time, take care.